Hey guys, what's up? My name is Starla Gallagher and I am with Gallagher Farm and Ranch. And today, <laughs> I'm gonna do one of my infamous no edit videos for you. Um, basically because I'm too busy. And if you know me at all, you know that that's accurate. But I really had some cool things happen today and I wanted to share them with you. And so, here I am. It is crazy windy outside and um, I didn't wanna be outside anymore. We had our market this morning and it was really great, don't get me wrong, but at the very end, the wind started to pick up and it just became kind of obnoxious. So, we went ahead and packed up. We got to see a lot of really great people. It was so nice and so rejuvenating. Like, oh my gosh, it was. It felt so good. Um, I actually had one gal that showed up with her son and they're gonna potentially do 4-H and that would be really cool. And um, she had seen my other videos, so that was really fun. Kind of a little moment for me of like, hey, cool, my videos are doing something. Um, so anyway, I... I don't believe there is a wrong and a right way. I think there are different ways and just because maybe I don't do it that way doesn't mean that your way is wrong. It just may be that we disagree on this or like I found something that works better or you found something that works better. And today I'm going to share one with you that I was just told about. I've, I think I've actually heard about it once before, but I've, I've never seen it in practice. And so um, this is about gardening, so that's what I'm going to tell you guys about. Anyway. So there's this gentleman here locally to us. His name is Marty. And I kind of refer to him as the tomato whisperer. He just like, he's so good at growing tomatoes. Like it's ridiculous. And this greenhouse actually used to be his. So I just, I love that man. He's just so cool. And he does so many cool things. Woo, what's up bud? I'm doing a video. Is it important? I guess it is gonna be edited. Okay, sorry. So apparently that's gonna be the one edit for this video because I'm not gonna stop again. <laughs> anyway, so I was telling you guys about how awesome Marty is. And I consider him kind of like the tomato whisperer because he just, he's so good at growing tomatoes. And this greenhouse actually was given to me by, well, to my family and the farm, not just me. But it was given to us and um, by Marty. And honestly, like, it's been one of the biggest godsends we could have asked for. So. Um, it took some doing to put it back together. <laughs> took us about nine hours to get it apart. And yeah, but Craig is amazing and he's the one that put it back together. So thank the Lord for those two men. Anyway, he did something that I've seen other gardeners do, but I've never actually seen it in practice. And normally when I go to plant seeds, I do the like individual cartons with one or two, you know, two or three seeds in each one and I do the little tags and the whole bit. And last year, uh, there was kind of a new concept presented that I'd never seen before. And that's where you do like a seedling tray, okay? And so basically the idea is you pretty much just pour your seeds out, right? Or like plant your seeds, but you just kind of cluster them all together. So you can see there's a whole bunch of tomato plants in here. And then when you're ready or when they're tall enough, you go and you actually pull out like one or two at a time and repot them. And you kind of got to be a little gentle about it because you don't want to break all the roots and stuff. But you just come in and you kind of separate them out like this. And then you plant them and you pot them into a new pot. So that's what I'm doing today is I'm repotting these from Marty. And I've, I've never tried it, so I'm hoping it works well. Um, he seems to be happy with it, so cool. But basically what this does is it actually saves you a lot of materials. You need way less seed starter, like soil, um, when you do it this way. And then in addition to that, um, you can kind of go through and thin. Now one of the contra like indicators for this, one of the reasons you maybe wouldn't want to do it, is because you may not want this many tomato plants, right? Like here in, this is just, he gave me like half, I don't even think it's a full half, it's probably like maybe a fourth of a tray and there's easily like 50 tomato plants right here so I'm separating those out into these now but so that might be a reason not to do it but I just wanted to share it because I thought it was cool so basically it's pretty simple let me grab some dirt you put your dirt in your cup put your tomato your plant in your cup as well and then you just want to kind of pack around it Try not to break it, right? That's the big key. Just don't break the stems. But 
voila. And now you've got one plant and that's all it took. So I don't know. It's a different technique, but it's cool. And honestly, I think I might try, if this does work nicely th this year, I might try this next year for other things because to be honest, like uh, I only have so much space. And so being able to plant this many and then transplant those, it's kind of a cool concept. And then in addition to that, um, I feel like you're just less likely to lose like as many things because you're going to either lose the whole tray or you're not going to lose the whole tray. So it just kind of like makes it a little bit, I don't know, it just feels easier, I guess. Plus you don't have to fill so many pots until like you know that they're going to do well, you know? So anyway, I don't know. I just had to share it because it's a different technique and I think it's cool. But that's all I got. So I hope you guys are having a great start to your season. Um, I hope you're sticking to your one a day. You know, I actually had a conversation with a lady today and I was just like, it doesn't have to be hard. Don't let it overwhelm you, okay? Go out and maybe your one thing today is to just get the seeds and put the seeds where you're gonna sort them, put them on the table so they're there. And then tomorrow, take the seeds and actually sort them. And then the day after that, plant just your tomatoes. And then the day after that, put, you know, plant just your cucumbers. Like You don't have to do all of it in one setting. So don't let it overwhelm you, it's not worth it. But anyway, so much for my no edit video. We've got a one edit video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time, be blessed. Have a great week guys, bye.